message this morning is found in Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Okay? Sabi mo sa katabi, Christ in you. Christ in you. Ang ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay born again, pinanahanan po tayo ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. He dwells in us. He lives in us. Okay? Because one time tayo po nagsisi sa ating kasalanan, sumampalataya at tinagap natin siya as Lord and Savior of our lives. That's why uh, He now dwells and lives in us. That's why the Apostle Paul said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Kaya you are not hopeless anymore. You are not helpless anymore. You are not homeless anymore. You are that person who is full of hope. And imagine mo ang isang taong walang pag-asa, eh talagang wala ng dahilan at wala ng uh, kahulugan ng buhay. Kaya uh, ang ginagawa na nila ay eh, just to end it, di po ba? But we as born-again believers, we are full of hope, okay? We'll never run out of hope. Kahit na gano'ng katindi ang mga pagsubok at mga problema at mga hamon sa buhay dahil sa kay Kristo na nanahan sa atin and the promises of God that we hold on, ay hindi tayo po bumibigay. Uh, hindi tayo po nag-give up, nag quit And we will really fight to the end and you will see the Word of God fulfilling in our lives. Not just seeing but experiencing the words being fulfilled. Let us read Colossians chapter 1, verse 36, uh, 26 to 28. Uh, simple, expository lang po ito. And then we will go to the practical side of it. Okay? Sabi ni Apostle Paul, ready read, The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but, now, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people, 27, to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we might present everyone fully mature in Christ. Okay, now... I want to give emphasis, ito yung aking sinulat, para mabigyan natin ng pansin, i-dissect natin, uh, hope, hoping all of us will understand at maging revelation sa atin. Okay? Uh, roll on, no? So, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, the mystery is has been hidden for generations and all ages. Ito po ang background niyan, we are Gentile people. Pagka sinabing Gentile, we are not the people of the Lord. In the Old Testament, meron siyang chosen people. They call themselves Jewish people. God's people, chosen people. Yan po kasi ang pinangako niya kay Abraham, okay? He chose a couple, and out of that couple, they became a mighty nation, no? Okay? So, if you are not a Jew, a chosen people, or Israelite, you belong to the Gentiles. You are a Gentile. Okay? Uh, what is a Gentile? In Ephes Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12 to 13, Ito po yung mga Gentiles. Ito yung kalagayan natin. Okay? Remember that at the time you were separate from Christ, you are Christless, excluded from the citizenship of Israel and foreigners or aliens to the covenants of the promise. And this is our situation, without hope and without God in this world. Verse 13, but now in Christ Jesus, you once were far away, separated from God, hopeless, Christless, has been brought near by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
That's the mystery. A Gentile, na na born again by the grace of God, and has been forgiven. Now, once it was hidden, now it has been revealed. Okay, unveiled. Okay, balik nga bro para magkita nila. Yung uh, it has been revealed. It has been unveiled. Uh, Yung, yung binigyan ko emphasis, bro. And disclosed. Nakatago eh. Hindi nakikita. Ngayon, maliwanag na nakikita na ng mga Gentile believers. To them, those are the Gentiles, has, God has chosen to make known what is that the glorious riches of this mystery. And what is that glorious riches of mystery? It is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So mystery is solved. What was once was hidden or disclosed, uh, naka, naka tago, now it has been revealed. Uh, this, that's the mystery. Hey, uh, simple dissect, uh, balikan natin, what is that glorious riches? Okay, what is that glorious riches of this mystery? The simple answer revealed by the Apostle Paul, sabi niya, the riches, hindi pulang riches, but glorious riches, of this mystery is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Wow. Yes, we are not the Jewish, we are not Jewish people. We are not Israelite, chosen people. Yes, yes, we are Gentiles, but by the grace of God, Jesus Christ died for everyone, including you and me, including all the Gentiles, not only for the Jews, Kaya tayo po ay recipient ng kapatawaran, ng kaligtasan, ng buhay na wala hanggan through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, mystery solved. Christ in you. That's the answer. Jesus dwells in you. Jesus lives in you. That's why you have this hope. The hope of glory. Now, what does it mean to us today, this Christ in you, the hope of glory. Well, let's go to the practical side. Okay. Ngayon sa kasalukuyan, Christ in you, the hope of glory, ang ibig sabihin niyan, if you are sick, then there is now answer for your sickness. Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory, now you can be healed. You will experience miraculous healing and you will see the names of God in front of you. These nine names of God, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Chitkeno, Jehovah Machades, Jeho Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah uh, Rofi, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Chidkenu and El Shaddai. That's why these things, kung isa sa susuma total mo yan, Christ in you, the hope of glory. So if you are sick, you can be healed. Why? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are hopeless, you will find hope. Why? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are helpless, you will find help. Why? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are afraid and you are shaken because of fear and you are trembling with fear because of these uncertainties in life, because of what's happening, happening around us and there is so much danger around us, God's answer is no more. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory, and if you are worried, 
Baka ma-repossess ang aking bahay, ang aking sakyan, mawala na ako ng trabaho, di kami makakain, wala kaming provision. The answer is Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are angry and bitter at life because life is unfair, why is it yung mga masama, yung mayaman at kaming mga matuwid, naghihirap, at napakadali sa kanila tayong nagbabayad ng tamang buwis o gumagawa ng katuwiran, we are being persecuted and hated. God's answer is, anak, Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. And if you are insecure, dahil may mas pogi sa'yo, o may, mas, tingin mo, mas, mag, mas maganda sa'yo, mas magaling sa'yo, ha? May dumating na mga mga empleyado, iba ang dating galing pa sa UP o galing sa iba't mga magaling na school tapos ikaw nag-graduate ka lang, dyan, dyan lang and you feel intimidated and secure, the answer of God is and Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen po ba? Palapakan natin si Lord. And if you think you are weak physically, mentally, Spiritually, name it. God is saying, Christ in you, the hope of glory. You are in trouble and you are struggling on, on every side. Wherever you go, you are, there is trouble. God is telling us, Anak, Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are full of problems on every side, patong patong pa problema nyo. Sabi ng, sabi ng James chapter 1 verse 2, Hindi pa nga natapos, natapos ang sampo, parating pa yung sandaan. God is telling us, anak, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And if you are grieving and hurting because you lost your loved ones, your best friend, and you were offended, you were hurt, and you are bleeding inside, God is telling us, Christ in you, the hope of glory. If you are discouraged, you lost your courage and you are discouraged and down. God is telling us, anak, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And you are disappointed because of these unexpected things. What you expected is this and what you receive is this. And you are disappointed. You are disappointed to your spouse and to your children and to your business. God is telling us, anak, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And if you are despair, and you are depressed. God is telling us, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And if you are destitute, walang wala ka, wala ka makain, baon ka pa sa utang, wala ka pang trabaho. God is telling us, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Season yan, anak. One of these days, and very soon you will experience that free life and experience abundance. And if you are in bondage on every side, bondage sa addiction, bondage uh, sa nicotine, sa addicted ka, sa gambling, addicted ka, sa drugs and other kinds of addiction, computer addictions and all forms of addiction, even sa pagkain, you think you don't have no more, no more you don't have hope anymore, you're hopeless and you're powerless. God is telling you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Tinuldukan ka ng tao, ng kamag-anak mo, ng kaibigan mo. Hindi naman ang Diyos. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Wala kang trabaho for now, yes. But very soon, or not very soon, remember Christ in you, the hope of glory. Tumatanda ka ng dalaga at binata, hanggang ngayon wala ka pang boyfriend or girlfriend. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Grabe kanina, nasa second floor ako, merong kasama si teacher Alona, hindi pa naman siya matanda, nagkaroon siya ng pag-asa, kaka-boyfriend, Ako in Jesus' name, sabi niya. No? Why? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. 
Tumatanda ka hanggang ngayon, wala kang asawa. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ha? Against all hope, in hope Abraham believed. Against all hope, Frank believed. Dandan believed. Dennis believed. Banjo believed. And all of us here, against all hope, we believe. In hope, we believe. At wala ka, ng, wala ka pang anak, 5 years na, 10 years na. I tell you, 12 years, mga kapatid natin, nagkaroon ng anak. Christ in you. The hope of glory. When everyone else have breakthrough in life, nagkaroon ng breakthrough physically, pinagaling sila ng Lord, financially, debt free, at ngayon, dero silang sagana, hindi lang kasyang-kasyang, kundi sobra-sobra pa. And then, nagkaroon ng breakthrough sa ministry, breakthrough sa kanilang family, breakthrough sa kanilang business. Kung ikaw ay hindi ka ba nakapag-breakthrough, I have good news to you. God says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Pwede mo natin palapakan si Lord. Dami mong problema sa familia mo, sa asawa mo, sa biyanan mo, sa mga kapatid mo, sa mga parents mo, sa mga anak mo. Tinuldukan pa na maraming tao. God is telling you, anak, Jesus Christ dwells in you, the hope of glory. You are broken hearted, not once, but many times. You know what does it mean to be abandoned by your husband or your wife? At ipagpalit ka, at ang pinalit niya eh, mas di hamak na pogi ka o maganda ka sa kanya. Tapos yung boyfriend or girlfriend mo, hindi po biro yun. Para malaman nyo, gusto nyo subukan? I hope not. Huwag ka nang kumain, huwag ka nang matulog, huwag ka lang ma-broken hearted. At wala kang pera, huwag ka lang ma-broken hearted. You know what it means to be broken hearted? It's you are being tortured day and night. The enemy will torture you. And the more you will entertain him, the more nakawawa ka. You will be placed in the depths of despair. You don't see light, only darkness. Parang wala nang hangganan ng paghihirap na to. Every time you see him and with, uh, with another woman, with another man, hindi po biruyan, but the Word of God is saying, anak, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Pwede ba natin palabakan si Lord? And you're about to give up You're about to quit. Sa trabaho mo, sa pangarap mo, sa mga anak mo, sa mga mahal mo sa buhay. Because you see, everything is against you. God is telling you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Every time you see the cross, you will find hope. You will find strength. You will find encouragement. You will find millions of reasons to rise up and march for your promised land. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's why the Apostle Paul in verse 28 he, Jesus Christ, is the one. Tingnan nyo sa verse 28. Jesus Christ is the one that we proclaim. We proclaim to you. We admonish you. We teach to you. 
Jesus Christ, the hope of glory. Once nag-sink in sa isip natin yan, nag-sink in sa puso natin yan, in our innermost being, even the gates of hell will not prevail against you because Christ in you, the hope of glory. You cannot be, you cannot sink. You are the unsinkable. You are the uncontainable, untouchable. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is what we proclaim to you. This is what we admonish you. This is what we teach you. So that there is no lacking in you, you because you are complete, perfect. And you can mature in Christ. With all your journey, your Christian journey, there is no easy path. There is no easy way to victory. But Christ in you, the hope of glory, you will overcome. And you will fulfill your destiny and your dream come true. You know why? Christ in you, the hope of glory. I told you it's a short message. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. What God has started in us, Philippians 1 6, He will complete it from start to finish. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Christ in you, the hope of glory. No demons, no, no nothing here on earth can put you down. It was Christ in you, the hope of glory. Come on, Pastor Dandan. Trust, trust in the way, parent. Sabi ng hymn, the old hymn, Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy, to be at peace, to, be, to, be, to experience joy, is to trust and obey. I said this morning, sabi ko, we do not live by explanation, we live by faith, holding forth to the promises of God. We do not live by explanation, but by faith in Jesus Christ and His promises. Because we believe, we do not just see, but experience how the promises are being fulfilled in your life. You will see the hand of God. You will experience the heart of God every moment and every day. I, uh, amidst all these uncertainties and adversities in life, we can overcome because Christ in you, the hope of glory.